He had been doing business with Alpo for a while, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars every month on bricks of cocaine. One day they were having a summer pool party. Alpo and his new right-hand man, Big Head Gary, were in attendance. They ran into a group of girls, and it happened to be Andre's girlfriend, Michelle, and her friends. Alpo and Big Head Gary started to talk to the girls, trying to shoot their shot. But Andre's girlfriend, Michelle, responded by saying, y'all know my man Andre, y'all shouldn't be trying to talk to us. Big Head Gary would respond by disrespecting his name. Andre started to mess around with Big Head Gary's baby mama, Caprice. Word got back around to Gary, and he was furious. But when Big Head Gary and Andre did talk, Gary told him how much he looked up to him and respected him and begged him to just leave his baby mama alone. And Andre agreed. Andre really did leave Caprice alone, but she still wanted to be with him and refused to let the situation go. Just so happened that Alpo and Andre already had a drug deal set up for $270,000. He told Big Head Gary that this would be his opportunity to talk to him again. For some reason, Andre decided to go to the drug deal alone and meet Alpo. He assumed that everything was good between them because he really did stop messing with Caprice. When he arrived, he got into the back seat of Alpo's vehicle and they began to discuss the deal. Big Head Gary came out of nowhere and shot him once in the head while he was standing outside the vehicle. Alpo said that he was surprised. He thought that they really were just gonna talk, but at the same time, it was a win-win situation for him because he got to keep the $270,000 and he got the girl, the girl being Michelle, Andre's girlfriend. Alpo had been having a secret affair with her. He had been trying to get her to leave Andre for a while and now he finally got his wish. And when his girlfriend Michelle found out about his death and called Alpo crying, he was the one that consoled her.